Well, by works, no man, no man is justified before God. Guys, works, uh, it's not a proof of salvation. Salvation uh, through a man's words and what he speaks from out of the heart of a man, of what man speaks is a man justified. Uh, the works of God through us, it, it's just that we're justified by, it, when we go to uh, James and stuff, we're justified because we will show our faith by our works, not that we're justified by works, if that makes any sense. By faith, we're justified by believing once and for all, once on Christ and Him alone. There's no one else that can save us but Christ Him. We're trusting on Him. Our works does not prove salvation, but our works do justify us in the fact that we are working for the fact of that we bah, 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 I'm not going to delete this but by our works we're justified because we love God and that we want to honor God by our works show our faith through our works and that's through growth and that's what James was talking about in James 2 you believe on one God you do well but what God are we believing on? The demons believe. Yes, they do. But justification by works is not a matter of whether uh, we work hard to show that we're justified by faith in the sight of God, but before men. Our works are to be showing that we believe on God, that our trust is on God and Him alone. And as in growth, it takes time. And that's where a lot of people get it wrong that James 2 is a very, it is a pretty, it's pretty hairy, you want to think about it. And it makes sense that people would go to that as a go-to scripture to believe that their justification without work, I mean, it's got to be by works, they're justified. Our works show us, show before men that, that we are a peculiar people different not that our works um, prove that we're saved our justification our works by the fruit of man's heart what cometh out of a man it's what comes out of the man's heart what you say what is you what is it that you believe what must you believe to be saved that's what my question would be to you and to know what your fruits are your fruits are that you trust on Christ him alone Plus nothing else for salvation, meaning uh, salvation from the eternal lake, uh, you know, uh, the lake of fire, right? That's what it is. It's not otherwise. And now that, that's a free gift. A free gift is that God is in the business of um, a rescue mission, if you will. God is not, you know, he loved us so much that he sent his only begotten son to save us and and that's a rescue mission don't don't make no simple thing of that because of what he did was a magnificent thing you know prepare me a body that I might go it, God himself came down and, and walked amongst us he did he walked amongst us and he died on that cross he knew what his uh, plan was and he executed it perfectly without hesitation knowing and in the garden of Gethsemane, let this cup pass before me. Let this cup pass before me. I mean, who would want to do that? But he said, and he was faithful unto the Father, unto the death, unto the death. And, and that it would be the redemption of man that whosoever believeth on him would be, be saved. It's a rescue mission. That's what Christ came to do. But uh, as far as James 2, it's to show our faith. I mean, you say you have faith, but you you can't give to the hungry. You can't. And now there's world good, and there's good to the name of Christ. You know, let's make a difference about that now. Let's get back to the point of the idea of that you are doing world good, and you're giving to St. Jude. Say you're giving St. Jude all these homeless people. Oh, oh, man. 
I'm doing God's work. Uh, you know, how are you treating your wife? How are you treating your coworkers? How are you treating uh, your children? Are you bitching? Are you bitching when you come in? I worked hard. I should have supper on the table. Why don't you cook supper for a change? You cook supper for a change. I'm just saying, man. Where's your faith? Am I saying you're not saved? It's a point James was trying to make is that, I mean, we can do world good. We can give to the world, but hate our own family even. I mean, what good does that do? If you're, if you're let's say, okay, look, let's, let's just get this down to the nuts where, I mean, where the road, rubber meets the road. If you're not doing your family right, and you give the world and your neighbors all this stuff, well, and you treat your family like crap. I'm not going to use the other word. I'm just trying to be nice. Just saying. You treat your family like crap. Where's your faith? Where's your faith? If you can't even manage your own family and treat them with grace, friend, that, that's the reason why Christ can't. It's not dependent on your works. Works should come out of your heart. And, and as God, as you're saved, and you realize you're saved, um, I believe as you grow in Christ that hopefully, hopefully in its volition, a positive volition toward the Word of God, maybe you will, maybe you won't uh, have positive volition to grow in Christ and have love. Because um, I'll tell you what, the Word of God has has the power to help you be fruitful as you continue in his word, as you continue, you know, understand who you are in Christ. You gotta understand the growing grace is the first thing you must do. Nothing else, nothing else. I don't care what, spend a year, two years, just growing in grace. Understand who your Lord that loves you, who he is. That's the best thing you could do. You really can't be effective otherwise. I'm just telling you, you're wasting your time. You're wasting your time if you don't know who you are in Christ. Get that under your belt first. But God bless you. Amen, amen. I ain't going to delete this video, but uh, I'm, I'm pretty much exhausted. I'm just having a good time sharing the gospel. And uh, hopefully, guys, uh, take the word of God seriously and get you a King James Bible, the real Bible, right? And uh, I appreciate you guys. God bless. Amen.